Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that watched the last video. It's reached, I think, like 19,000 and something views right now. Um, and we've got quite a few followers from that video as well. Um, I haven't replied to everybody. I've replied to a majority of comments, but if I have not replied to you yet, I am sorry. It is on my task of things to do today. Uh, the reason I haven't posted a video in such a while, well, I think a month, maybe two months, uh, is because things have just been crazy at home at the minute. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> but today I felt like doing a video, partly because I'm home alone today. Um, Lana's gone to university and I thought it would be a nice little treat, surprise for me to try and make some cold soup for her. Um, we recently went to Lithuania, I think uh, last week we were there for 10 days. I didn't do any videos just because, like I was saying, there was so much going on and we just wanted to spend some time with family. But I thought it would be fun to make another video following that little food trend that we've got going on. So, uh, I'm gonna get on with some things. I will be going to the shop. Uh, they have some Euro markets. I'm hoping it's gonna be in the one that I'm gonna go to. If not, I know of a couple others. So hopefully somewhere around we'll have the cold soup batch thing. I watched Milana's mom make it when we were in Lithuania. She showed me how to make it. So I'm gonna, off the top of my head, try and remember everything she put in it and see how it gets along. I'll also try and put a little bit of an English twist on it with the potatoes, uh, just because that's how I like my potatoes. So, this is good, this is good. Food, food culture, it, it happens when I think multiple cultures blend together. So this, this could be the start of Lithuania and British cultures blending together with cold soup on this channel. Okay, so we are back home. I have everything I need now. So I'm gonna start going ahead and make the cold soup. Milana will be home about five o'clock. It is currently 4.16, so I better get a rush on. Uh, so let me show you everything I have and I'll talk you through it. Okay, so like I said, I have everything I need here. The basics of, no wait, don't have everything, don't have everything. This is everything. Okay, so over here, this is going to be for the potatoes. Obviously we've got potatoes. We have uh, all purpose seasoning and garlic. We'll also use some olive oil. So I'll put those to the side for now. Uh, here we have the beet roots two packs of those, 99p each. Uh, those will be grated down and going into the cold soup. Here we have uh, cucumbers. Looks nothing like the cucumbers we have in the UK. This is a cucumber that I'm used to. Uh, I thought this was just a pickle when they showed me this, but it is a cucumber. It, I think it's Polish, but apparently they have the same thing in Lithuania anyway. This is natural buttermilk. Now in Lithuania, Milana's mom just got, like I said, it was like a big bag of like, I guess milk. I don't know if it was buttermilk and it was colored the way cold soup looks. I haven't looked at this yet. So I'm hoping it's the same color. I'm assuming by the color of everything on the lettering and this, that it is going to be the same color. Dill, spring onions, 
and could not find chive anywhere in any shop at all was super frustrating. So I'm sorry guys, but I had to go with the pre-cut and probably dried chive seasoning. And over here we have eggs, which I need to hard boil. So, where to start first? I think I'm probably actually gonna have to start with the potatoes because like I said, Milan is gonna be back around five-ish and the potatoes are gonna take about 40 minutes to cook in the oven. Yeah, that's golden. That's perfecto, I think. Watch your fingers, I'm gonna chop your fingers off. <laughs> okay, so all the potatoes cut. Luna wanted to say hello, so say hello. <laughs> Popped. <laughs> ah, you need to boil eggs. I'll do that after the potatoes. Oh, and by the way, I just want to let everyone know. Beetroot. And he's going to go ahead and grate it. That's all you're going to do. Luna, Luna, you just farted on camera. That was not me, that was Luna. I even ever picked it up. But she's closer to the camera than I am. You're going to regret that in the future. So that is the beetroot, shredded, grated, whatever you want to call it. So that is the dill, chuck some of that in, some chives, spring onions. I just want them to start feeling just a little bit soft. We'll drain those. Give it a shake. Get it all nice and fluffy. Let me try and focus that for you guys. Uh, that's good, is that good, is that good? I think that's probably good there. Just shake it. See all that? That, my friends. Is what makes an amazing roast potato. Not too much, you don't want them to start falling apart, but just get them nice and fluffy around the edges. The potatoes in the pan. Hope you guys like kids because a lot of baby talk on this channel. Exactly. Luna. I noticed a couple of comments that did not like Luna on the last video. How very dare you. If you don't like kids, don't watch a family vlog. Because guess what? There are probably kids on there. So, dice up these garlics. Oh man, don't you just love the smell of garlic? What you want to do, grab it. Yeah, we'll put a bit, couple on now. Sprinkle them around. And then again with the olive oil. Just pour it over the top. Beautiful. Ma. More? You want some water? Let it get cool. Again with the all purpose. And the rest of the garlic. Boom. That is quite a lot of garlic. But hey ho. So, this potato now goes in the oven. Okay, so, got the eggs going on now. In the pan. We want the eggs quite hard because we are going to be grating the eggs into this. Almost forgot the cucumbers. Too close. That'll do, right? 
bang those in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take an egg out and test that. Straight into the ice bath. Again with the big side. The eggs haven't been done for long enough. Great in. Hope this is right. It is not the colour I wanted it to be. Maybe the beetroot makes it the colour you need it to be. I'm just gonna add it in. Let's just see how we get on. Very runny. Yeah, the beetroot makes it the colour it needs to be. Mix it all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not a chef. Oh, nailed it, people. Oh, yeah. And that is how you make the perfect Lithuanian cold soup. Try and try it. Let me see if my taste buds remember. Very beetrooty. More dill. Definitely more dill. That's for sure. I think all the dill. Even missing spring onions. Oh my god, <laughs> nailed it, nailed it. Daddy, daddy has nailed it, Luna. Yes, darling. Yeah. Let me get into close so you can hear me. I am so impressed with myself right now. You can't imagine. Can't wait for Milana to try it. That is insanely. I mean, what can I say? I think even Manana's mum might be impressed by that, but stick around and let's find out what Manana thinks. The potatoes are still in the oven. I might be picking Manana up. Let's have a look at what the potatoes look like. See, this is what potatoes are like. They need longer. They need to cook for longer. So if your potatoes look like this, they are still not ready. You want them nice and crispy and golden. So, that is how you make cold soup. I will admit, the first time I tried cold soup, I was not so sure on it, wasn't a fan. The more I try it, the more I like it. Uh, I think the potatoes are definitely something that has to be spot on for the cold soup. Uh, we went to a restaurant. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say it. My cold soup is better than that restaurant we went to. Yeah? Okay. In Acropolis, we went to one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daddy made good cold soup, no? <coughs> oh yes, Daddy did. Ba ba ba! <laughs> <laughs> I How's that look? It looks huh? very pink. Well, it's supposed to be pink. Yeah. The. Did you put everything the, in? Oh, I keep nearly spilling it when I show it to you. You surprised so. me. I thought about sushi. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Merci. Mmh. Mmh. Can I take a picture yeah, for my mom? Thank you. So, I had a panic. Ups and downs making it. Why? But uh, I think it's been quite successful, to be honest. I'm very proud of myself. And I did it all from my head, from what I could remember. I can see no bag. Is it? It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to give it a score. One to ten. Ten being as good as or better than your mum's. <laughs> or one being hideous and it tastes nothing like it's supposed to. It could be colder to me, but... It could be colder? Yeah, because... Well, I put it in the fridge, but... It doesn't... It, yeah, there's only yeah. so I'd much like I could do. I've only cold. just made it. Yes. Like Luna was up and down. Or it's really good. It needs more Yeah? Mm-hmm. A little bit salt means, yeah, but I like salt That's fine. more than usually. A scale of 1 to 10. I would say 7. A 7? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy with that. I was expecting a 9 or a 10. It's always somewhere where to go more. <laughs> so, but it was step good. Step by step. Yeah, it's good. For you first really? time? Yeah, you really surprised me. Good. Because I really thought you were gonna have sushi on me. <laughs> <laughs> or lasagna, what you spoke about. <laughs> mm. Do you want to try it? I couldn't find any dill. So I had to get the one in like a jar of glass. So it's not fresh dill in there. Mm -hmm. But it's fresh, not dill. Try, but I couldn't find try. It's fresh dill. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's not necessary. So with this cucumber. Yeah. The proper one, like the mm -hmm. one from Lithuania. Mm -hmm. So this is seven. Seven is good, you no? Know? Huh. Not like nine, like you expected. Like yeah, I expected a bigger. I would say eight, but eight is close to like end, you know. So I just I don't want to give like straight away. Okay. You know. Next time. Well, that's a disappointing end. No, I can give you a. Eight. Not eight. joking. I'm quite happy with it. I hope everybody enjoyed. A little bit stressful. You want to see yourself? Yeah, look. Yeah, stand here. <laughs> look. Yeah. <laughs> now say bye. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Take me to your heart. Take me to your soul. Never drawn apart. Cause I belong. Getting star Cause I need your loving baby And never let me down Let me down, let me down I'm your song And you're playing all my melodies There's no one else Cause baby we got chemistry You gave me feelings Feelings that I never knew Is lonely